Hey people, thanks for joining me on another one of Chris's Beer Reviews. Well, the last time we reviewed a beer, it was from the Fuller's Brewery from UK. So, for the next couple days, I'm going to be going over all the Fuller's beers, uh, one beer review at a time per day. And today I'm going to be introducing something I've never had before as well. This is the Fuller's Past Masters Strong Ale. Um... It is a part of their Heritage Series. We got a 7.9% ABV. Now you see, LCBO puts things like this on to correct things. This is 7.5% straight from the brewery, and this says 7.9%. And I also wrote on here that uh, each one of these little bottles here, regardless of what flavor or regardless of what kind of beer you're drinking from this brewery, you're, they're always going to be $3.75. Unless you go and try one of their vintage uh, ales, of course. So at the back here, just a quick brief description. It says, an authentic recipe from 1891. Uh, since 1845, every Fuller's Head brewer has kept a handwritten book of brews. The Masters series uses this precious archive of brewing wisdom to revive selected, long-lost beers for today's connoisseurs. It's a glimpse of our long and glorious brewing history. The first in the series, Double uh, XX, is a strong dark ale. Back in the 1980s, XX denoted a stronger-than-average brew. This particular recipe dates from the 2nd of September, 1891. Matured for three months, then bottle conditioned, it has a rich, rounded flavor with a distinctive, warming character. I hope you enjoy drinking it as much as I have enjoyed brewing it, uh, as per John, uh, the headmaster. Uh, you can also check him out at www.fullers.co.uk backslash past masters. Uh, so, that's uh, pretty much the best of details I can give you for now. We got a uh, 500 milliliter bottle here, and I don't know why they did it, but we have one of these little sticky tops here I'm going to have to remove. Uh, all right, so let's dig right on in. I'm going to be enjoying it with my, uh, you know, I didn't know this was going to be a dark ale, uh, so that's going to, the fact that it's a dark ale might actually change my mind as to how I'm going to be drinking it. A, uh, a dark ale. Why not? Why not? All right. I'll use a Guinness glass because it's uh, obviously for a dark stout. And uh, let's give it a whirl. Smells like a dark ale. It definitely doesn't look dark. Maybe it's dark S. <laughs> There's a lot more head to that than I thought. It was pouring like it wasn't going to be putting out a... I'm trying to say this without it sounding dirty. When I initially poured this glass, it did not look like a lot of head was going to accumulate. Um, that's much better than saying what I was going to say. Um, yeah, so if you look at this, it really does just look like an IPA. Um, the last beer that we have with is an IPA. Uh, one thing I can tell you about this, though, is that it was definitely filtered. I can see right through the glass. Um, we got like a three-finger head right off the st uh, start. Um, we got a bit of an off-white color, and I don't know why, but I have this little tiny green piece in here. I don't know where that came from. And uh, again, as as do they all uh, so far, the uh, UK uh, beers from Fuller's, uh, or sorry, the Fuller's beer from UK smells very much like an English style ale. I'm not picking up on any boozy aromas. Just uh, English ale hops, just the way that we like it. 
Uh, I poured this straight up off the balcony. Uh, it's nice and cold outside. It's December, sorry, it's January 27th, and I'm still able to store my beer on the balcony without it freezing. That's pretty unbelievable. All right, so uh, this is it. A little bit less head now. It's time for me to dig in. Woohoo! Okay, so it definitely has a boozy approach. I'm not a huge fan of this so far, and that's only because I, I'm almost finding that it has a, a, a perfect combination between uh, an English ale-ish taste and a barley wine beer. It actually kind of has a barley wine texture as it's going down. Uh, barley wine textures generally don't, uh, generally go down incredibly smooth uh, and they don't taste uh, nearly as carbonated as your average beer. Basically it's almost like it goes down like water and then you have a bit of a carbonated aftertaste. As usual with Fuller's uh, proving themselves to be tried and true, they uh, always a good sign of a of a, a great beer. It has to do with you know the lace and the head, and this head is still withstanding, and the lace is going to be playful all the way throughout. I'm not picking up on any other flavors. Um, some people, being the English ale that it is. We drink this at room temperature, but I, I strongly recommend you not to if you don't like barley because you're going to be tasting barley like crazy if you drink this at room temperature. Um, so yeah, excuse me, I think that's about it. I mean, I still got more of the bottle to go. So uh, what I'll do is I'll write down in the description if this beer happens to change in taste at all, if it, if it happens to get more boozy or anything like that, I will keep you posted. Uh, I've done this very once, very rarely uh, with my videos, but uh, you know, if I'm missing anything, I get to get my point across in the description. So thanks for joining me. Uh, definitely give this one a try at some point in time if you're interested in the type of beer that I've been explaining. Um, for the surprise, I'm not really a big fan of the barley taste. It, 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 I didn't read in the ingredients uh, because there is no ingredients. Yeah, there's no ingredients, so there's nothing here to really say to me that it's going to be tasting like barley, but it does. So, yeah, for what it is, I mean, I can, you know what, the last couple of reviews ago I did a barley an actual barley wine review and I and I could actually say that this was still better this one you're getting more for around the same price so if you're looking for a barley wine beer out there this is probably one of the cheapest ones that you can ever get when it comes to price 375 at 500 milliliters a bottle I've seen three dollars and fifty cents for a three hundred milliliter bottle and stuff like that. I've seen seven hundred and fifty milliliter bottles for fifteen bucks. So please uh, try this one out if you like your barley. You, you will like it. Uh, might be hard to get at this time of the year now, but uh, yeah, if you can find it anywhere, if you can find it next year, keep it in mind. And uh, yeah, feel free to buzz back and let me know if you felt the same. Ex experiences you were expecting uh, and I am all ears I'm always here people so uh, I'm gonna give this a three out of five and uh, everybody have a great day thanks for joining me on another one of Chris's beer reviews don't drink and drive but drink responsibly